excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man, but as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook, high kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 27, with big differences in height and reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds. You ready? Are right, you ready? All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Tonight. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Good sit. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Just out of range with that right hand. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Some nice back and forth action here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, single collar tie here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly leg. Oh! how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Nice. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Massive left hand. Knee to the body. Finds a home for that left hook. Nice right hand. There it is. See that left hook again. He keeps getting hit with those left hooks. Big kick land. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Unable to land with that punch. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. 20 seconds left. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Final seconds of round one. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Don't give him an opportunity. 
All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Two. All right, here we go with round two. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, Superman punches good. You can tell he's been working on that. Whoa! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach. Oh, huge right hand! <laughs> Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Gets up again here, but hurting. Well, he has really picked up the pace. Oh! What a performance. competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance the official decision is in here is bruce buffer